there and welcome to the Big Apple School Podcast. My name is Sam. And I'm Reno. And today we're asking what's the crack about childhood fads. So we will look into what a fad is for you you that may not know that yet. Uh, we'll talk about the popular drinks, sweets, crisps, etc. when we were young. Uh, popular toys, things on TV, uh, hairstyles, fashion even. Not that I am the most fashionable person. I don't Not know about that you. anyone in the 80s was fashionable, <laughs> actually. It was terrible. <laughs> uh, we'll look at uh, music, things that might have might embarrass us to talk about. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to share all our embarrassing stories with you. or at least Not all of them. Some, <laughs> some, some, just some. Uh, some. The, the, maybe the least embarrassing ones. Um, we'll, we'll look at uh, what, was, what became popular, that is now popular or still popular with us. And are they useful? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a useful fad that we still enjoy doing? And are they a good thing, these fads? So sit back, relax. Thanks, uh, Sam. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not talking. me. The, v- oh, the listeners. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought me. But you can sit back and relax Thank you. too. Uh, so let's get going, shall we? Yeah. Uh, Ray, what's a fad? What is a fad? <sighs> I don't know. I thought about this word. Um, usually for, for us or for me, it's just something that... Something actually quite stupid sometimes that uh-huh. became immensely popular for some right. unknown reason sometimes right. actually. It's um yeah. I would I would give it a very very descriptive, um simple description, popular for a short time. Something like yes. you know, like a flash in a in a, a flash in the pan. pan. Like uh, is it magnesium if you burn it? It's yes. very quick. It's like bright like white. Very, and very it's popular gone. and then it's away. Yep. And everyone, if you if you continue to to have whatever it is or do whatever it is, then you'll be looked at, at like you're an idiot, uh-huh. uh, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, so to give examples, what examples can you think of? As sort of modern or recent examples? <laughs> maybe looking walking around in obviously green hair, green hair. Yes, yeah, yeah. A gr- uh-huh. and a maybe purple too. I think it's green and it's purple popular. looks very popular. Yeah. Do you think? Hmm? Do you think tattoos have become a fad? I know they're, they've you always know, kind of been popular. Tattoos definitely are not a fad anymore. Yeah. I think I guess, it's almost a an expression of lifestyle these days. Yeah. It's become it's be, very it's more acceptable. Than a, it's more than a fad, and it's and it's because it's so permanent. Mm. I, I'd say it cannot really be be considered a fad anymore. Right. I think you know those pidget, oh, pidget, fidget spinners. Do you remember the? I, I never, never had, I never had them either. Never had one. But I remember them. Yeah. I mean, fads tend to be, to be honest, we're, we call them this childhood fads because fads tend to be for kids, often, or for teens, or for yes. y- young, young, the younger pe- generation, young people, and and we're getting away from that. I mean, right? far away from <laughs> that. Thank goodness, sometimes. <laughs> um, so, like, I look at the fidget, but oh, that's kind of cool, but I don't think I need one. Mm-hmm. That's what I, that's what I kind of say, but. Um, I think that Rubik's cubes were popular a fad mm-hmm. for a while. Mm-hmm. You remember those bracelets, the, the elastic bands that you could make your own? Yes. That was, I would say, that was a fad. We actually used to use thin metal wire, electric, electrical wire, and we used uh-huh. to copper. F- uh, not copper, the plastic coated one, the oh, white and red. Sold- there for soldering or something. Yes, no? or something like that. Right, right. We used to make bracelets from these things. Yeah. So it had a spe- special way popular, of yeah, yeah. yeah but it had yeah. a special way of. Tying and knotting yeah, and twisting right. them into, so yeah. all of these things. Of course, the old version of the fidget spinner is yeah. the top, the spinning top, the old yeah. wooden top yeah. with and you might with have, a string that you had to right, right, to throw Push. and it would spin. I could, I could know, never how get old that. Are you? I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very old. That was this. <laughs> actually thanks for that, Sam. But sorry, I had, sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. I had my dad's one, <laughs> right, um, sort right. of passed down. Yeah, yeah. it was. Right. Very interesting. I could never get the thing to spin. Of course, I remember those. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit, I remember those, but I don't know if I remember them being a fad. I think I, I grew up in a very small town, right? And things in small towns tend to be you play with a stick. Yeah, <laughs> they they stay a little bit longer. If the fad but lasts a little bit longer than in the big cities, okay. They, the news okay. travels yeah. slower. Yeah. You yeah, asked an interesting question, which we haven't uh, planned to discuss. But what makes a fad? Is is I think a good question. I mean, what what makes things so popular? Like it, nowadays, it's easy. It's like a fashion, it's, right? It's internet. It's the internet. anyone who makes something and someone decides, oh, that's cool, and they start and watching it. If also. the right person, I guess, yeah. I guess the answering my own question, if the right person thinks it's, it's cool, 
Yep. Then enough people think it's cool, and then if you get a crowd thinking it's cool, yep. then you've got more, and it kind of snowballs, I guess. If Justin Bieber wears his pants short, then yeah. everyone else no, wears. No they... one thinks he's cool. I don't. Well, know. Oh, he has. <laughs> he still has a huge following. The Beliebers. Yeah. Beliebers. Yes, Beliebers, right? The Beliebers. Yes. Right, okay. I'll take your word for it. Don't, because I know, <laughs> don't know much about him. But yes, I think these days it's easy. It's the yeah. right person. You, you, yeah. You're quite correct. I agree with you. If a uh, celebrity yeah. or uh, pop artist or someone yeah. does something, tweets or something. Absolutely. Tweets or There's so many. Or they sneeze. Twitterverse and uh, <laughs> Instaverse and uh, all of these places. It's yeah. very easy, I think, yeah. these days for something to become a fad. We sound like the two old men from Sesame Street. Is it well, Sesame definitely. Street? No, Muppets. Muppets. The Muppets. As a rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hope maybe someone will know that reference. What were the most popular drinks, sweets, crisps, etc.? When you were a little boy, so Let me Reno with his bald head run the boat. That's no, I was not bald back then. <laughs> so, don't be. Okay. Huh. <laughs> so, the usual things, of course, chocolates and chips, crisps were fashionable. Uh -huh. Coca Cola has always been fashionable. Right. But, but I somehow remember when I was young, cream soda was quite new. Okay. Yeah. And for us in South Africa, it was green, very green drink. Yeah. And. Of course, now if I drink it, I get heartburn <laughs> because yeah, of all the right. additives <laughs> and fake things in there. But I used to love cream soda when I was uh -huh. when I was young. I, I don't even know if I've drunk uh, cream soda. I know what you're talking about. I, I think mm -hmm. I do, but I don't. Sparletta yeah. was the. And tell the me, Coca -Cola tell group. me this. I'm I'm interested to know because I don't think I've asked you this. Crisps are they called chips in South Africa? Chips. We call them chips. Mm, right. Okay. So That's so enough. we have chips and we have slop chips. So we call. What? Uh, slop, the slop chips. The slop chips. So the potato, ch the chips you get from potato, you fry in oil. Uh huh. Um, that you eat with fish, fish, fish and chips. Right. Those are slop chips slop because they're not. Chips. They they flexible. Yeah. Mm, right. The others are called just called chips. You could call them crispy chips. Yeah. <laughs> then we you have, we to have our own unique way of okay. calling things. Okay. You know, so, talking about crisps, we had. Yeah. I don't know if you had them. I remember them from the early eighties. I think. Right. They were called. Creoles, and of course, there's, no. they are islands. I think the Creole Islands or right. something. Right. The most god awful chips. <laughs> they made from potatoes. I'm not sure if there were any potatoes anywhere inside. Right. <laughs> when these things were made, they had they the most reported to be potatoes. Yeah. Horrific smell <laughs> of dead fish. Right. But they were maybe they were fish chips. They were because it was yeah. it was based on the islands. The advertisement was about being in the islands, and right. they were a huge fad. And yeah. We all ate them, and if I think you back now, yeah. the smell of those chips—you could smell it on yourself for two days after you had them. It was uh -huh. terrible, and still it was popular. Very the popular. power of fads. Exactly, yes. peer pressure. Um, and I'm going to answer this question. So, what was popular? Uh, Monster Munch. Have you heard of them? Ah, yes, I heard. Is and Ghost Pops. Uh, not sure. Um, I remember Monster Munch more, uh, much more, and they they were shaped in like Monsters. hands or yes. paws, and they were corn snacks. I mean, they they were crisp, but but a corn snack crisp, Co yep. not, not from potato. Yep, same and, with Ghost Pops, um, actually. Right. These were very popular after Ghostbusters became a hit. Right. They had the probably the same stuff and yeah. just different shapes. And yep. Actually, that is quite. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, mm -hmm. in the eighties, a lot of fads were created in movies. Yeah, movies because we didn't have internet and things like that. Yeah. So no Wi-Fi. Exactly. Not even. So, not even internet because before Wi-Fi there was there was a. Oh, this is before internet for me. Before completely internet. before Absolutely. internet. Absolutely. And yeah. Ghost Pops became very popular because it was based on the Ghost yeah. Buster movies. Yeah. Uh, nerds, a thing called nerds, which I you can still find some places. Uh, I vaguely remember this. They're one, little it? little tiny round sweets. Ah, cylinder, yes. If you want, and they're different colored and full of sugar, of course. Yes, and really unhealthy Only sugar. But but what sweets aren't so? But they were called nerds, and um, nowadays nerds are kind of cool, mm -hmm. uh, as far as I gather. Mm -hmm. But but back then, I remember my older brother and I offending on purpose, like as mm. brothers do, calling each other nerds. You know, you're, yeah, you're, it was an you're, offensive. It you're was, nerd. And yes. it was really offensive. Did you guys have chappies? No, not to my knowledge. Okay, so chappies, maybe it was a South African thing, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually, I googled a little bit, I did some homework before this podcast uh -huh. um, to remind myself of some of the things, because right. as you quite rightly pointed out, I'm very old. 
So <laughs> I had to refresh my memory. Um, Pulling your and we had these bubble gums, right? Square little bubble gums, colored pink, green, some yellow, and uh -huh. a little bit of flavor. Square. It sounds and familiar. If you open the wrapper, right, there was information. Did you know? Oh. The Egyptian sphinxes are so many years old, no. and did you know it? Were, there were thousands of facts. No. So it was inte that intellectual really sweets, very intellectual Don't, sweets. I remember like a square bubble gum, but nothing with information. Okay, and wrapper. Maybe mouth. it was uniquely South African. I'm not I, sure. The one thing uh, that when I was a kid, there was a screwball scramble. It was called uh, what? A screw. It was called screwball scramble, and yeah. it's it's like a it was ice cream in a container. Not a huge container in like a um, in a cone-shaped plastic mm -hmm. container, and at the bottom there was this big lump of cheap ice cream. Or sorry, bubble gum, chewing gum, uh, okay. chewing gum, not, yeah, a, chewing not gum. even bubble gum. Mm -hmm. And it, I loved it, even though the chewing gum wasn't horrible. Anything <laughs> actually it, horrible. It wasn't bad. It okay. just wasn't. I mean, it wasn't good quality or anything. Mm -hmm. But but the fact that you had ice cream plus gum, bubble gum, uh, chewing gum, it was quite it, it was a novelty. Yeah, it, it was, was a novelty, quite, and quite I like unique. I really like that. And uh, I always, mom didn't always want to give us because of chewing gum and stuff and young it's young bad, kids. Bad but, for your teeth. I can hear but, my mother say this. Bad for your teeth. But it, well, it could end up in the carpet or something. <laughs> 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 True, or in your brother's hair. <laughs> right, yeah. um, so that but that was pretty popular. Sweets sold by Weird. I mean, never in South back Africa. Back in, I lived. I, never, but I grew up in a housing estate, which is basically um, in in the UK. It's an area where a lot of people are kind of supported mm -hmm. by the government. Now, my family wasn't. We were work, parents were working and everything, but that's where we we grew up. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it at all, mm -hmm. uh, and I had a happy childhood. But in in that kind of area, the big area, there was this sweet shop, uh -huh. and it wasn't very far from our house. And any time I had got my hands on any free money, or, uh -huh. you, know, you know, any change uh -huh. or pocket money, I would have went to the shop and bought sweets in pounds. I mean, as in by weight, by, by weight, yeah, by weight. Yeah. It wasn't before the grams matrix, before kilo, the matrix system. Yeah, it wasn't grams, kilograms, it was um, but pounds and it ounces. Was pounds and ounces, mm -hmm. and usually I would get like half a pound or quarter of a pound mm -hmm. or something like that or maybe a, if I had a lot of money a whole pound of sweets almost 500 a, grams that's a lot a pound if I re, if I remember no, correctly I a pound is uh 2.2 kilograms I think no or is it the other way around it's the other way around 2.2 pounds is one kilogram so 1.1 okay. pound is 500 grams uh -huh. a little bit of mathematics and, and okay. useful information for Good. our listeners there yeah so so that's just in case you don't know the measurement that's mm -hmm. that's what it was so it was and that's what we used to buy uh, things like that, like boiled sweets, mm. uh, hard sweets. Mm -hmm. I mean, and but tasty. And maybe that's a European types. thing because actually it's still quite popular here. You can it's, still find you a lot of places still, where, yeah, in Russia. I'm you pretty can buy sure this. you can still. I haven't seen it here. I'm not saying you can't, but you can still get it somewhere in the UK. But I, uh, I no longer go to that shop. I mm. mean, I uh, we move, we moved, and I still never, find some here. Yeah. Interestingly enough, for us, we had some. Things that you could buy by yeah. weight, not yeah. not many, but we had the corner cafe yeah. where you could go and buy bread and milk and yeah. fish and chips right. or sausages boiled in oil that was two hundred years old <laughs> and it was so tasty because the oil yeah. was so disgusting. <laughs> but they also sold a lot of sweets, right. and inevitably it was owned by a Greek person. Uh -huh. So I think there were three or four in the little town I grew up in, yeah. and they were all owned by a Greek person. So then it would have been very healthy olive oil, no? Oh no, it's a stereotype. <laughs> no, it's, it, I wish it was healthy olive oil, but uh, yeah. it, it was great fun on a Sunday if my parents had money. Yeah. We would meander out, and uh. now that I'm thinking about it, we drove, but it was right. like three minutes drive from, <laughs> like, you know, very close to a small town, yeah. and we would drive, and then. Take a drive out to the rich suburbs to ah. go and look at the houses and dream. eat our sweets. And, yes, <laughs> dream and eat our sweets in the car. <laughs> what? So toys, of course, are popular. Fad. What kind of toys were popular in yo-yos? Yo -yos? Yo I'm sure you had them too. And yes, I have. I remember getting yo-yos. I think they were popular and then popular again. Yes. And like I was maybe an, 
a teenager and maybe mid to late teens and I remember yo-yos became popular and you could save up if you bought Coca-Cola or Fanta yes. you could save up and get these yes. free, free beautiful ones. ones actually they were fantastic they were really good and you know I got a couple maybe two or three of them and uh, which when the I don't think they were that hard to get actually you might have a pet a little pay a little bit of money but they, mm. I don't think they were that hard to get because we didn't drink a lot of fizzy drinks uh, but you could get these and they become a real fad mm -hmm. and I started to play around and in my free time and I did a lot of tricks and things no, nothing, yes. nothing spectacular yeah. but it was quite straightforward around the world some, and yeah. things like that yes yeah. and I loved actually loved it and I mean if I found a yo-yo now I'd probably pick it up and try yeah me too I did stuff. actually because as you all, people know who have listened, I'm a teacher mm -hmm. back in, in South Africa. And of course, you witness a lot of these fads right. repeating. And in fact, yeah. the last school I taught at in 2011, 2012, yeah. the yo-yos were incredibly popular. Absolutely, mm. incredibly popular. You could have confiscated them and <laughs> have a go at this None one. of the ones were yeah. as good as those Coca-Cola yeah. and Sprite they and were, Fanta. They were great. They and were you could fantastic. get special edition ones. Yes, the they were fantastic. And, stuff. Yeah. and the Ruby Kids. Kids. They what? don't know what they're messing with. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Tama Ruby's Ga Cube? Tamagotchi. I never played around with Ruby's Cube. I guess. It's not it became very popular when I was yeah. young. It didn't I, I was requires too, too much thought from absolutely it's not fun if it requires. It was much thought. easier to take it apart and put it back together <laughs> in the correct order, which is pretend not, sleep guys. Yeah, yeah, look, I did it. it. Yeah, mostly what I did. Nano or Tamagotchi pets. Do you know those in a key ring? I remember them, but little, I was older already. Little so. tiny key ring type yeah. thing. I I think I just got it and. Um, I, I think I had myself one, and it was it's a quite a small thing inside a keyring electronic pet. Mm. This is before m mobile phones became yes. popular, of course. Yeah. Nowadays, you've got all that in mobile mm -hmm. phones, and it's not exciting. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, wow, and you can look after this yeah, pet it was and all that. Interesting. Crap. Um, pugs. Have you heard of them? I have no idea what that is. Pugs are discs made of cardboard, mostly cardboard. Some were plastic. And they had all kinds of fun pictures on them, and they were fairly small, you know, like a well, like a large coin size, mm -hmm. like a quite large coin size. But they weren't big, and you could you could you could collect all these. I think there were might have been numbers on them, but you could collect them anyway, mm -hmm. and lots of different pictures and fun pictures, good cartoons and stuff, great drawings. And then you could also play games. There were different games you could play with them to, for added value, of course. Mm -hmm. But you could buy the pugs, the ordinary pugs, but then you could buy, I don't know what it was called, Slammer, I think. And it was a hard, chunkier plastic about mm -hmm. the same size. And what you stacked these pugs, and then you would hit them with a slammer. And then I think it was, it was a very basic game, but I think you could, you know, just whoever ended up uh, removing more of them or something, if you, or if in your pile you had more of yours or, or mm -hmm. less of yours. You want I don't remember exactly, mm -hmm. but it was very basic, but mm -hmm. it was fun and it was the idea you could collect these and they were cool looking and all mm -hmm. that, you know, and it went, and became a fad. Did you ever play marbles? Uh, yeah, but I, it was never a fad when I was young. It was but I liked very it. much for us. We yeah. had glass ones and metal ones and Ah. Milkies, they were glass, but looked like looked like <laughs> they were. Uh, they spent the night in a, in a glass of milk. They were sort right. of, of an opaque whitish color. Yeah. Um, Maybe we can start the fad now. Looked like quartz. <laughs> looked like looked like they were made of quartz. Yeah. And we would exchange them, or you would play games, and you would lose your right. your precious marbles. As the free pun intended, yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> lose your marbles in your game. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were we still very played. much a yeah, uh, very much it's a bit like bowling, is it? Yeah, kind of. We usually it was quite simple at school. We would dig yeah. a hole in the ground somewhere on the playground. We would uh -huh. make a little hole about the size of a teacup. Right. And you would stand about five or eight meters away. Uh -huh. And first you would throw them to get as close to the hole as you can. And then right. after that, you would flick them with your fingers, you know. That and would be hard. That would be soft. Yeah, it, well, it hurt. <laughs> your fingers were... It was a test of That was a test of muscles. Just remember, this is pre-1990. The South African <laughs> folk were meant to be strong and tough. Yeah. So, yeah. It wasn't like it was today very... your manhood is tested by the amount of... Uh, texts uh, text per minute text or something. Maybe. Oh, I'm being too harsh. Okay, uh, popular TV shows or cartoons? Because as we said, these these kind of set the tone, right? Or the, yeah. made, made the things popular. 
So it was, this was quite different, I would think, in South Africa because mm. uh, pre-1990, in the apartheid era for us, mm. television was quite closed. Mm -hmm. It was owned by government. Uh, okay. Only certain things were broadcast. Okay. Um, so we had very few international programs. Right. A lot of programs developed for the South African market yeah. by the South African Broadcasting Corporation. Right. But the one or two things I can remember, very, very innocent things like Postman Pat. Uh-huh. Um, it's an okay, uh, Paddy, I know it, Paddington I know Bear. It. Yeah, I'm Paddington sure you Bear. know. Yeah, yeah. So Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Yeah. I, I remember that clearly. Postman I remember Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Pat and his black and white cat. Go early in the morning. Uh, yes, just as day is dawn. I remember Chippendale Rescue uh -huh. Rangers, the yes. cartoon. I remember them well. Mm. Other than that, I couldn't think of anything that was that that people would. Yeah. even recognized today. Uh -huh. And in fact, a lot of them were in Afrikaans. Okay. Wow. So, okay. yep, a lot of it was in Afrikaans. So, <laughs> very different. Wow. I can't imagine watching, for, for me, not knowing Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. um, so, in contrast, in the UK, we had all, those few that you mentioned we had, but I don't know, I, I think, you know what, looking back, I think I was probably addicted to cartoons as a kid. <laughs> But huge amount of you, Tom and Jerry. A uh, huge amount of USA stuff. Okay. I mean, no limited amount of TV from the USA, mm -hmm. and as it as it is today, um, most maybe most of the stuff on our TV was American. Mm -hmm. But there are, were also Irish and UK stuff too. Um, Batman the animated series. Mm -hmm. was on there, mm -hmm. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, I was too old for that as well. I, I was... You missed out. That was mm, a huge... I missed out on that. A huge fan yep. and the toys and everything. And it came back. That, that yes, was one which came I, back because it was remade. These, these toys are still popular today. I've yep. seen them in toy shops now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Friends, back the in the 90s, series. the TV show, the sitcom. Yeah. Yep. Really I, good. Again, is, really good. I'm actually watching it again at the moment. Yes, I, I, I still I really quite enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, I still quite enjoy them. It's you know what? Some of the stuff today you wouldn't hear on a you and and it, it's not very politically correct. It's very politically incorrect at times. I but, actually looked at the, listened yeah. to to watch one. Maybe and it I was thought, because what? they were it, they got away with it because of their, their, it was their style and they were popular. Maybe it was a bit more free. I think maybe it, it was a bit more free before yeah. the time where people got so offended so easily yeah. and yeah. So maybe it was a little bit easier. But I, so, I still I mean, thoroughly enjoy the show. They, they make fun of everyone, so you know, it's, it's everyone okay. and everything. Yep. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I re well, I remember Fresh no, Prince. This, now this is a story all about how you know the rap. Will Smith, how uh, that's where Will Smith, yeah, yeah, was introduced to the world. Actually, was yeah. in and he became char charismatic guy, popular. Yeah. I think it, it came. Yeah, it was his. It for was me, his, it, it was, was his my, breakout. Yeah, I, now that I think about it, there was a, a TV series, Twenty One Jump Street, uh -huh. and it was a yeah. roughly before about the, the film. Uh, well, before yeah, 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 film. well before the, the movie. Why do I speak like you? Long before the movie. Um, <laughs> it was a series, I think maybe one or two or three seasons, I cannot remember. Right. But in fact, Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt, as yeah. very young guys, played in that sort of way. Uh -huh. I was introduced to them the first time. Right. Sort of the same era watched, as Fresh Prince. I watched the film. Not not a super fan of it. It's not my type of humor, but that wasn't I didn't know that it was no, the, based on The series was wow. actually quite good. Yeah, actually quite oh. good. Hairstyles. Oh, it's good for us. Goodness, it's good for you and I, right? Oh so my back goodness. Back in back in the nineties, when I was, I mean, eighties, nineties, right? I was a youth. So, but back in the nineties, if I remember, I don't really remember the eighties. I mean, I was quite. You were too young. Too young to care mm -hmm. about fashion, yeah, about yeah, yeah. hairstyles. But the hairstyles I remember are basically gel. You got gel, and you spiked your hair at least at the front. And the rest of it could be fairly normal. Maybe some gel to push mm. push it forward and keep it standard. And then mm -hmm. like some gel at the front and that was it. And it was, a lot of it was based on the guys from Friends and stuff. It was quite similar uh, yes, of course. to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then a t kind of t-shirt. I remember wearing a t-shirt and then a shirt over the top. And that yeah. seemed quite fashionable. 
um, at least I thought, I mean, don't yeah, get me was, wrong, I was not a fashion guy or anything, n nor am I now. was very fashionable. But that was, I think that was popular then, that kind of stuff. Even a long-sleeved t-shirt with a mm -hmm. short-sleeved t-shirt over that right. was also quite popular. Right. Which kind of like skateboarding style. It's skateboarding style, yeah. yeah. That was quite popular, mm -hmm. as I remember. So, embarrassingly, um, uh -huh. if our listeners feel the need, they could Google this. I'm not sure if they would find it. I hope actually that they don't because <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. If I think back to um, the hairstyles of the 80s, some of them were quite good. Some of it was quite short and uh, tight, military, um, yeah. not quite military style short, but yeah. short because films like Top Gun and those things were very popular. Right. So a lot of it based on yeah. that. Right. But there was one particular hairstyle we would in South Africa, we referred to it as the step. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the easiest way to explain this yeah. is if you take a pot and put it on your head uh -huh. and shave around that pot. Yep. So very, very short below and long uh -huh. on top. So it looked I like you had idea. this step in your head where the hair ended and the skin started. It was absolutely okay. dreadful. I hope our listeners cannot find this because I would be embarrassed to think the that they know haircut. I looked it's like this. It's the bowl this. haircut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bowl oh, haircut. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> really terrible. Did you have one? Oh, yes. <laughs> I had one. I had one. Great. Mm. I, I, Not so great. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look at you No, now. please don't. <laughs> <laughs> what about music? Oh, 80s music. A 80s music. Mm. I'm thinking 90s, but you're thinking 80s. What, thinking what was 80s. popular then? Lots of things that actually are popular again. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the 80s music are being remade and revived. Right. But modern talking, Duran Duran, Aha, Tina Turner, yeah. Madonna, The Bangles, um, Queen, Police, good. Uh, All good stuff. Wham, uh, so, yeah. so Queen's many. Really, Queen's got a revival. Cindy Lauper. Um, yeah. Right. The list is incredibly long and yeah. so many of it those I don't know, I think erasure, electronic music, pop people are, music. People are loving the 80s at the moment because uh, Stranger Things and stuff mm -hmm. and films, certain films, they're they're kind of capitalizing on that idea mm -hmm. of the 80s nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I like it. I like mm -hmm. the style of music, the films from the 80s. I love that music. Yeah. So a, a, a good thing if our listeners want to get a real idea of the 80s, um, something like Back to the Future with Michael right. J. Fox yeah. actually was quite... I watched it again yeah. recently. The yeah. second and the third one is not great, but the first one was actually yeah. quite relevant. The right. Miami Vice, Don Johnson uh, type of clothing. Uh, it was quite accurate. I, I yeah. had a good trip down memory lane Beverly, when I watched this. Beverly Hills Cop, was that quite the 80s? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Beverly Hills Cop, 80s. a police academy. Police Academy, very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so lots of those films. Uh, lots of those films, and they could get a very good idea of mm -hmm. hairstyles and clothes right. and what makeup and things. Like. Yep. 90s music for me, what I remember, Spice Girls uh -huh. were so popular. Not in my opinion, but I mean, they were okay. But but they were really popular. They were for very people. popular. Oasis. Oh, yes. Uh, Robbie Williams uh -huh. became popular. Never liked him. Green Day, I guess, but a not, little bit. A little bit. Take with that. Take that was very like popular, that. yeah. Um, but a lot of boy bands emerged yeah. in the 90s. Yeah. Westlife and, we, and yeah. those, bands in general. Yeah. yeah, groups. Groups became groups. the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not going to dwell too much on music. It's not, no, 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 not no, my it's, thing, to be honest. I love music. Um, yeah, I love music. Uh, yeah, yeah. But a little bit. A little bit. So, embarrassing stuff is what we want to talk about more. Is there anything you are embarrassed about that you used to do? Something for you, personally. Probably, as I mentioned, the hairstyles. Uh huh. Some of them were atrocious. And if I think about the clothes, hmm. <laughs> the 80s. Did you have flares? Oh, flares yeah. were popular, yeah? No, no, no. Oh, was that 70s? Hey, that's <laughs> the 70s. Come now, come now. Sorry, I don't remember. No, it's okay. No, the 80s was known for its primary colors, the reds oh. and the yellows and the blues, and you yeah. wore them all at the same time. Oh my goodness. And we had news and sh t shirts with newspaper print on it. And uh -huh. the ladies wore plastic it's like Warhol, bangles and Andy earrings. Warhol and stuff. it was, yeah, and it yeah. was huge. Everything uh -huh. was absolutely huge. Um, wow. 
I remember one particular pair of pants. I think if I if I saw it in a shop now, I would mm. say it was a pair of ladies' pants because <laughs> we they were f very flared at the top yes. and then very skinny around your calves, and the waistband would be eight or ten or twelve centimeters wide. Yeah, with, I, I think it was terrible. Yeah, red and yellow all in one, and then you wore. It'll come back. Oh <laughs> dear God, I hope not. I promise you. So that that would be my. Embarrassing thing. Fortunately, yeah. I do not Any have pictures? photos of no them. Pictures? Mm. No, thank goodness I don't. I'm not a photo person, so oh, it's a shame. not it's many a shame. of those. I around. would love to see. Uh, well, I was part of a bat society. I don't know if this was a fad. Well, for me, it was a personal fad. I was part of a bat society. It's not that I don't love bats now, mm. but at the time, it was like a thing that I'd started to get to know and to see bats about. And I had a kind of a moment, a few, a year or two, where I was like, "Let's, let's go and investigate." Mm -hmm. And I dragged my parents out in the middle of the night to do a bat survey for for one of the bat societies in, okay. in the UK. Like, I don't know what my parents must have thought, like they were working and everything. Uh, I mean, I, I can imagine if I had a child, them wanting to do that now, I would just it would, would be. Wouldn't be, easy. Like, yep. wouldn't be easy. Wouldn't be easy. So we were walking around in the, in the woods at night, you know, with this box that we'd lent, mm -hmm. uh, we'd borrowed, and um, look, he, listening out for ultrasonic, you know, these oh, yeah, for um, these signals for the signals of the bats. Which, mm -hmm. uh, so that was that was a fad, which I don't I don't know if I'm embarrassed by it, but it, it was not something that I think I want to continue. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and also, when I was about twelve. I was in, I mean, I was in junior high school. I asked Santa, and I knew Santa wasn't real, but mm -hmm. I asked for a Batmobile. And, and a toy Batmobile, you know, okay. a toy Batmobile yeah, yeah, car. Yeah. And while p some older guys nowadays would say, that, what's the big deal? Because they mm -hmm. collect toys. I think I was too old for toys, mm -hmm. but I would, I really did love Batman that much. Mm -hmm. so. uh, and Daniel, Old, Daniel Donald Music, which is an Irish guy. Basically, it's your granny's music from Ireland. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but I, I listened to that. Um, now, I, I was influenced to listen to it, not, and not in a bad way or anything, but I would be embarrassed and I would not listen to it mm -hmm. today. No way okay. would I listen to it. It's horrible. But at the time, mm -hmm. it's what I listened to. Yeah. Uh, not, not so much Robbie Williams. But. Okay. Um, so, what became popular in your younger days that's still popular? I don't know. Yo-yo, you mentioned. I, I don't know what the what the standing of the yo-yo is nowadays. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would probably say jeans. Jeans would, right? In in the eighties, became very fashionable. Uh -huh. Very fat. Not a working, yeah. uh, a worker like factory workers used to wear it. Yeah. It became popular as a high fashion. Right. Um, Piece of clothing, yeah. probably that because it's still these days you yeah. can you can get away with did wearing you jeans wear, a lot. Did you wear full denim? Top Unfortunately, I did. Yes, the <laughs> denim jacket was very denim fashionable. Jacket, denim jeans, yes, right? denim jacket and stonewashed. It was so faded; it didn't even look like jeans anymore. But <laughs> okay. yes, we I, I wore those. So yeah. I would say jeans. Not the worst thing. Dude. Not really the worst thing. And I would maybe say music. Yeah. Um, Some of the there was music. a huge. Yeah. Uh, explosion of music and different mm -hmm. kinds of music which started in the 80s and yeah. are still going today maybe right. if I really had to think about it maybe I would say yeah. that mobile phones but I was the pre, first pre my time I was the first now I was 16 uh -huh. or n not quite six maybe 14 15 but I was in my latter days of high school uh -huh. senior high school and I I was the first in my class to get a mobile phone okay I followed my brother my older brother's example uh -huh. And I thought, wow, cool. And mm -hmm. it was heavy, like a brick. Huge, yes. And this big aerial that mm -hmm. you had to pull yeah, up. Yeah. But it was so cool. Mm -hmm. And all, of course, I started in my class and then everyone had one too. Mm -hmm. And I kind of felt so proud, you know. I, said, I don't, I guess I didn't start the fad for my school. I don't but, think so. But I, I felt that way to yeah. me, you know. And, um, but that was, and it's still popular today. And I guess it's, I guess it's not quite a fad because it's still popular. That's, an, yeah. Um, our fad's a good thing. What do you think? I think it depends on what it is. Mm -hmm. um, 
some of these things were quite formative. It, mm -hmm. it defined me. So some of my music wow. defined who I was at the time and maybe still am. Yeah. Um, some of the stupid things, the haircuts and the very bad clothes, not so sure. But I think, yeah. I think what it does for a person is when you participate in something like this, yeah. you are part of something. Yeah. And that's quite important for people to feel like they belong. Yeah. It's also important to discover what you like and what you don't like. Yeah. So True. maybe I'm being too no, no, too think, uh, right. you sort of, hypothetical about this. No, but I, I think, think right. it, I think participate and you become you feel that you're part of this society, uh, this culture or whatever. And and you connect with other especially people. Especially for teenagers. Teenagers yeah. often feel like they don't belong. Yeah. Because it's so confusing with all the hormones and everything. Yeah. So maybe some of the fads in that yeah. aspect. Yeah. Or from that and perspective. I, and I have, gives you a sense of belonging. I have good memories. You yes, know, not, we not all every, do. Not everything, but but some of the stuff like yo-yos and pogs. Some are embarrassing, um, but still good memories. Still good memories. Yeah. 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 Uh, so if something is a kind of fad or fashionable, do you think that it's always going to come back? It if, depends if, again. Inevitably. I, I think the things that are really good yeah. do. The because yo my dad things. or your dad or yeah. someone's older brother would say, oh, this was so cool when yeah. I was... And it, it's... When I was a boy. It, <laughs> it started again. So yeah. I think the ones some, that are really cool someone, and memorable in some way. Yeah, will, yeah. Come, will keep coming back. Yeah. Cool. So that was the crack. Uh, guys, guys, that's, that was the crack about childhood fads. So we talked about the different periods, slightly different periods. There's a bit of an overlap about when mm -hmm. we grew up, uh, the kind of food and drink that was popular, the toys, the TV shows, mm -hmm. cartoons, the fashion and hairstyles, which we were embarrassed about, mm -hmm. uh, the music a little bit, things that really did embarrass us. Um, what's... We talked about things like, are fads important uh, for people? And so I hope that it was interesting to you. Maybe there's something that you know about, you remember as well, that we spoke about. And maybe not. Maybe you learned something new about different things that, uh -huh. that uh, Reno likes and had as fads and I had as fads. So that was the crack about childhood fads. <laughs> <laughs>